The following presentation is brought to you by KMmedia.pro. Please visit KMmedia.pro for more information. Now stay right where you are as we present. Welcome to Positive Talk Radio, evolving ideas, one conversation at a time. Great guests, dynamic stories and interviews, plus new thoughts on a wide range of topics and concepts. I hope that you'll hang with me, Kevin McDonald, my friends, and of course, you, as together we work to understand why we are all here and what we can do to make our world a better place for all of us to be happy, be kind, and live in peace together. Yep, that's Positive Talk Radio. Another episode of Positive Talk Radio. This is uh, um, a show that we put together because somebody in our neighborhood is doing some extraordinary work. And we wanted to highlight that because they've got a big event coming up on this coming Monday which is, I believe, May 1st or is it May 2nd? May 2nd. May 2nd. And that is Janet Bacon. She is part of the 100 Women of Snohomish. Um, And I I don't think that's the official title, right? Right. The official title is 100 Women Who Care About Snohomish County. There you go. 100 Women and 100 Women Plus. Yes, we got it. Yeah. Can't forget the plus part because we hope that this will become, or well, I don't know. I got to ask you, how long has the uh, your, your program been around? Okay, uh, so it started in 2006, actually, in um, Michigan. A woman wanted to get cribs for babies, and they needed ten thousand bucks. So she invited a hundred women to give a hundred dollars, and. Um, she was able to do that. And since then, we're not part of any sort of um, franchise or anything, but they're all over the country and everybody does it similar in that our goal is to help our community, but everyone does it pretty different. So I'm the co-founder of the group in Snohomish County, and I started it with two other friends, um, honestly sitting around our kitchen table saying, we can do this. So we invited um, people we knew and we ha- we started in April of 2019, and the concept is super simple. It's just 100 plus women give 100 bucks, and it we've been able to give drum roll since we started in April of 2019, 120 thousand two hundred dollars. Holy Moses, that's a lot of hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. That's a thousand women who have. Well, we've, you know, we've had, we've had nine, we call them giving circles and we did, we started meeting together and that's also really good because it's really powerful, generous women that get to network as well. And the goal is to support our community. And then of course with COVID we couldn't meet. So we uh, went online and had the nonprofits just give us videos of basically what they would do with the money and what their mission was. And so during that time, we've grown our group. And last this last uh, giving circle, we gave a $20,200 to Marysville Food Bank, their backpack program for kids that I had no idea that there's kids that don't have food from Friday till Monday. And this program gives them backpacks of food for the weekend and we were able to give them twenty thousand one hundred dollars which is phenomenal <laughs> it is and thank you for your work it 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 always amazes me that in the most prosperous country in the world that okay. we have kids that go hungry I, I believe the latest statistics are like 16 million children go hungry because they don't have enough food to eat in the United States of America. It's mind boggling to me. I just want to tell you that I had no idea and it will make my voice shake because um, I live in Everett. However, this is a Marysville statistic that there's 243 kids that are homeless. Well, you're kidding. No, I I didn't know that. And so we're going to help those kids and others get food. (laughs) I mean, I was just like, wow, we, like you said, in the United States of America, that's going on. That's going on in my community. No, no, (laughs) no. We have to help those children. 
Well, I, I, I can't tell you how, how happy I am to have you on the program because, you know, the work that you are doing, which is very selfless, and you're doing it with, with a heart of gold to help the kids so that they have something. It's, it's just amazing to me that we don't have government services or somebody in, in power or, or church. I, I don't know who, how, to, how to make it all work, but uh, we, we really have a, a problem, and I'm, I'm glad you're addressing it. Um, I can't believe there are 200 kids in just mer- Now, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not from here, because this is a worldwide pro- podcast, that Marysville is a small community. It's uh, Everett is like the fourth or fifth largest city in Washington. Marysville is way down there, and they're just a little itty bitty place. And they've got a couple of hundred kids that that are are homeless and trying to go to school and trying to get an education. The only food that they're liable to get is from the school Monday through Friday. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And so I guess that's a gap I didn't even think of that. What do they eat from Friday till Monday? And those kids were, many of them were running into school to, you know, to get their food. And so anyway, that's a great program. And kids, um, I tend to really, it goes to my heart for kids and women's issues. And um, I have another little little story to tell you is last time, so that would have been last October, we were able to give 14,000 something to a group called Hand in Hand. And they're an organization that when kids are removed from their homes due to, you know, their parents went to jail or their parents, whatever, the kids are there. They place those kids in foster care. However, where do they go in the middle of the night when they when they take them out of the homes? So this organization is called Hand in Hand, and they have a shelter for kids. And we were able to give them $14,000 to help in their um, endeavors. So that was pretty cool. That must have really uh, touched their heart to be able to have a local community like a local group like yours be able to touch them. Cause that's, that's not an insignificant amount of money and that can go to helping a lot of kids. Well, and that's the concept. Um, that's the concept, Kevin, that if I give a hundred dollars to any of these organizations and we've given to several, and I can tell you about those, but if I give a hundred bucks, you know, that's great. I mean, that, you know, it's generous. It's good. But if we get, You know, last time we had 147 women, they all give a hundred bucks. I mean, that's $14,700. And um, so that is, it's very powerful. And often people think, oh, I can't be a philanthropist. You know, I, I, you know, I'm, I can't afford a wing in a hospital or whatever. No, your hundred bucks with my hundred bucks and uh, other women's hundred bucks, it adds up. So that has been really, really great. And I'm glad to see, because I know, you know, there are in the uh, 501c3 world, there are, there are, it's kind of like um, the Wizard of Oz. There are uh, good witches and there are bad witches and uh, some organizations that profess to be charities, but a lot of the overhead and a lot of the things goes to that. You guys, virtually everything goes to your, you, the, uh, the uh, um, charities that you support. Yeah, um, thanks for that, Kevin, because we are not a 501c3. We are nothing. We are a conduit. And all of our overhead, like I'm working on name tags right now, our core team, and we have six people on our core team, we buy all that stuff. I mean, we, we you just pay for it. There's nothing that we take out. And, and the $100, again, we're not a 501c3. So we, the people, and I'll tell you a little bit more how we select the nonprofit, but once the nonprofit is selected, we tell our members to write us a check or cash. We don't even take credit cards because we don't want to add that 3%. We want it all to go to the nonprofit. So they they write the check to ABC Charity. They mail it to our post office box. And literally, we give a bag of money and checks to the nonprofit. I mean, it's kind of funny. It's one time we did it in a Crown Royal bag. Um, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's... It's just, it's really grassroots. We take nothing. Uh, We spend very little too. I mean, name tags, um, you know, signage, whatever. Um, But every single dollar goes to the nonprofit. 
That is outstanding. Now, uh, what are the, and I, help me here because I have no earthly idea. Are there tax implications in, in, involved in what you're doing or is there? Not all, because we're not a 501c3. So what we do is that people that are members write the check to, let's just say they just wrote it to Food for Thought in Marysville. So Mary's, that, that group, they make us a couple promises. They will, um, not use our members' names for more solicitation. They will send tax receipts to our members. So the members do get that tax write-off and they will come back to us and tell us what they spent the money on. And that's it. That's it. So, so basically you're nothing more than a conduit of, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. and by the way, I, you know, in post COVID land, which is where we are now and hopefully it'll stay that way. But, but I, the virtual reality or the virtual meetings and stuff. I think that's, that's here to stay. Uh, well, and that's, that's interesting. You said that because we are having a um, in-person meeting, the first one since February of 2020 and the Indigo hotel here in Everett has donated their space, which I'm very grateful for that. Uh, however, we have also um, given p folks the option that if they if they can't come for whatever reason or they don't want to come because it's at night and COVID and all of that, then we're, we're we have sent them the links to the websites for the three nonprofits that are um, asking for help, and then they can um, you know look at the videos and they send votes to me. And I've already received like fourteen votes in the past couple of days. So how do you choose? Is it is it they present you with a video and then the members choose and and whoever gets the most votes wins? Uh, it's kind of like that. But what happens is our members nominate nonprofits and they have to be a 501c3. Wow. Um, and so they nominate. We vet them just to double check that they are. And then um, we literally I mean, I told you we are really grassroots. We literally give all the nonprofits a number. I have a big sombrero that we have all the numbers in. We pull the numbers. We pull three three numbers out and one alternate. And then um, we call those nonprofits and we ask them to present to us what they would, what, first of all, what their mission statement is, a compelling story and what they would do with 10,000 bucks. And then we give three, so we select three and then our members vote. And the recipient is the nonprofit that gets the most votes. And that is the presentation is going to be made this Monday. No, so what happens is this Monday, the three people that we selected last time will be at this meeting on Monday and they will be there. They can do a 10 minute pitch, if you will, uh, on those three things I just told you. And we vote that night and then we usually give the money that night. But because we're kind of doing a hybrid with some folks that are voting and going to send checks, it'll probably take a week or so to get the money to them. Um, but so we hear from three people, three nonprofits that are looking for some help. And then we will also hear from the food for thought folks that we just gave the money to. They will come and tell us, hey, what they do? What are they doing with the money? You know, I'll, I'll tell you, there there are some really good people in the world that are doing positive stuff. And you you are one of them and your group is one of them because and it's great for everybody because you can network and you can uh, women get to meet each other and, and and form alliances and work together in business and and in personal stuff. And you can do all of that. And you're supporting some charities at the same time. That's that's really cool. We, we had another thing happen this last one, part of that 20,000, the Richard Schultz Foundation, which is the folks that own Best Buy, uh, reached out to me actually. And um, they offered to match 50% of uh, what we collected up to $10,000. And we collected more than that. I and mean, we collected 15,000. So they added 5,000 to our, our donation. And they've done it with other 100 women groups around the country. And so when I got that note, I was like, wow, really? And so I did the whole homework. And so that's been cool. And so it, it really does, you know, you said there's really nothing in it for me, but there really is. Um, it's, it really feeds my soul. I mean, I, it does. It makes me, I'm so joyous that we can together 
do something that's so positive. I mean, it's so there's there's some good in there for me too. Oh, and uh, no question about it. But you're you're not doing it for the the pay. You're not doing it for the hours. You're doing it for the pure love of the people. And I imagine that you get a now that you've been operating since uh, 2019. I imagine you get a ton of requests from different charities that are looking for funds. Uh huh. We do. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, we do, and we would love to give them to the to all of them. Um, you know, we've had people say, "Well, why can't you split the money?" And you know, there's a lot of questions on how we could do it different. We really like the way we're doing it because it really is leveraging our generosity for a bigger bang for the buck. Very cool. Now, have you ever had um, uh, Operation Sack Lunch come calling? No. Oh, I do have to say that it has to be a, a nonprofit in, that serves Snohomish County. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because uh, Beverly Graham, that uh, I interviewed her in 2003, and she had started Operation Sack Lunch. And, and just the, the amazing generosity of people. I mean, she had to um, mortgage her house three times and, and stuff. And it's just great to see that if you ask people to give for a good cause, I'm, most people wouldn't, most of us just don't know how. And I'm, when somebody comes a calling and says, Hey, I would like to, you to donate to this charity. And the first question I have for them is, well, how much actually gets to the charity? Because they're a fundraising organization that the charity is hiring to raise funds for them. And so I don't necessarily feel like that's the best way to use use the money. And so an organization like yours, which you don't take, you have no skin in the game. Nothing. All you're doing is making connections with people yeah. and allowing them to make it work. Right. We're the conduit. You know, I always say we're nothing. Like we don't even have a bank account. We're nothing. And uh, <laughs> but, but we we connect people. And there's some cool stories because uh, you said people want to give. They do. And this is so easy. People are busy. You know, they're busy. And so three times a year, they eat, you know, 100 bucks. It's not a huge amount, but it becomes really powerful. And so many people have sent me notes or called me and said, thank you for this really easy way to make a difference. And I mean, it's super easy. Now, are there groups like yours in other counties in the in Washington? There are. Um, there are several. In fact, I started, um, I, I heard about this for the Seattle group and there is a greater Seattle group. And I was part of that. And then literally we were driving home from Seattle and one of the co-founders uh, with me was in my car and she said, why are we driving to Seattle? Like, <laughs> why don't we do this in Snohomish County? And so I invited some friends for coffee that Saturday, and then this came out of it. And yes, there are several, um, there, you know, the one in Seattle. Uh, this is a cool thing. I'm so excited. My high school friend started one in Grace Harbor County, which is where I grew up. I grew up in Aberdeen. Um, she started one there. Um, they've been on hold during COVID, but their first time out of the shoot, they raised sixteen thousand oh, dollars. Um, we have. I have a person I used to work with that from our group started a group in Woodby Island. And then I have someone who saw my stuff on Facebook who I don't know, but now we're friends. I've talked to her on the phone. I've helped her set up her group in Maple Valley. Um, and so, and there's others around the state. Uh, we're, we're just one of many people doing a really simple process. And we do it only, I don't know if I said this, we do it three times a year. Yeah, you, may, you mentioned that. And, and I think it's really cool that the hotel and boy, by the way, shout out to the hotel again because they yeah, gave. Yeah, in Indigo Hotel, which is in the, uh, it's a beautiful hotel um, on the waterfront in Everett, and they opened right before COVID, and uh, so they have generously donated their space, and so this is great for them too because we're going to get a hundred plus women in their space. So I'm very grateful, and it's a beautiful hotel. That's that's really cool, and they're brand new, so it's, it's you're yeah. getting state of the art digs to go have your meeting at, which is really cool. You know, it's funny, Kevin, because every once in a while I will say, "Hey, we're credible. Like we became really credible here." Yeah, I mean, I you, not only are you credible, you're incredible. Oh yeah, well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> one hundred twenty thousand dollars in a short time is incredible. 
Well, and I'll tell you, um, Snohomish County is not the biggest county in Washington. Right. Um, it's got uh, uh, some Air Force base or no uh, Navy bases and stuff. But it's it's you know, but it, that that is not a small thing. One hundred twenty grand. Yeah. To, to I mean, put put a group of women that are you know, and all ages. And actually, oh, I'm glad I thought about this. We're now asking our women members to or all women actually uh, we do have some guys that give money but they're not members but um uh we've asked them to bring their daughters and granddaughters because i think this would be a really great way to have young women start thinking about making a difference too it would it, it, it's for all ages it is and, it you is. know and 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 i'll bet you that there are some stories that come out of your group about women that have made connections that have been good for business and good personally for themselves. They form friendships that, that could last a lifetime. Yeah. There's all these great benefits. Like we get to hear about other nonprofits that are doing good work that I didn't even know. Like I told you at the beginning, I didn't even know about a program like food for thought. I didn't even know there were, uh, there's so much. And so, yes, there's relationships. We have a cool story. Our first one was our first, um, recipient was Faith Food Bank and the woman wanted a commercial refrigerator. Well, we got her on our first time out of the shoot, we we got 10,000, well, I think 11,000 the first time. And one of our members gave her a van, um, just was her grandfather's van that was sitting in the garage. Um, she also gave, bought, so she, uh, the woman wanted a, a commercial freezer and the other woman in this other woman bought her ref a commercial freezer. So they got the refrigerator, the freezer and a van, <laughs> <laughs> which was pretty crazy. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, we are an abundant society and uh, some of us have got stuff just laying around that we haven't used in years. And, uh, we, we don't, we don't downsize. We just keep it around because it's our okay. stuff. And, but if they can, if you can you do good with it, like, like the van, well, good heavens, why not? And it's tax, tax deductible at Absolutely. the same time. Absolutely. You know, you said doing good. I use that in pretty much all my, um, com all my uh, communication. And I say, we're doing good together. You know, we're doing good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, in your your mission statement, and I'll read it for the folks just so that they know that that you are genuine about who you are. We're a group of compassionate women dedicated to doing good by bringing. Oh, there's that word by doing good by bringing our resources and nonprofits together and leveraging. That is a key word right there. Leveraging yeah. our power to impact our com our communities, leveraging your ability because you're right. Um, I, you know, there's that, there's that old saying that, uh, would you rather have a million dollars or double a penny every day? Meaning that if you start with one penny, then you get two, then you get four. Totally. And, and a lot of people will say, I'll oh, give me the million bucks. But if you, if you double a penny for 30 days, you will have far, far more because you're leveraging. Right. And, and it's, that's a really, it's a really cool concept. If somebody, and there may be somebody now that's listening and in or wants to get in touch with you in order to um, either join the group, become part of the, let me ask you, do you take members or people who don't live in Snohomish County? We do. We have members. We have a member in California. We've got members uh, out of state. We've got, we, uh, yes. And they just, they want to support our community or they, maybe not even that. I mean, most of them do, but some just found a way that they can do something. So yeah, you can be, you don't have to be here. And the way to reach us is, and I'll say it slowly. Um, we have, we have an email that is 100 women Snohomish at gmail.com. We also have our website, which is www.100womensnohomish.com. And then uh, my name is Janet Bacon and I, you can call me. Uh, I, you really can. I, I love, I love talking about this. And um, I know people say, don't put your phone number out there, but it's like, I'm, call me about this. Um, and my number is 214 883 
1-800-273-4820. And I would love to, to welcome more members, of course, and uh, take nominations or recommendations for nominations for our nonprofits, um, help you do a group in your area. Um, it's, it's really a cool, cool thing to do. Well, and there are a lot of people who live in areas that are not served by a group such as yours, and and they could. This would be a really slick, easy way for them to be part of the community and to and to give some money. And a um, hundred bucks, most most everybody has a hundred bucks. Um, if you know, so it's it's, and I think it's really good. And your core values, I love your core values, also by the way, which are integrity. We deliver on our commitments, generosity. We're blessed to be able to share with what we have, which is, is I, I think that we are a generous people. And if people knew how to give more, they would. And we elevate, we lift people up and you provide, you know, I was a bus driver for 12 years and I've seen homelessness and I've seen people that have had some real, real problems. And, uh, and it's nice to it's nice that there's a group out there like you have to to really help people and you know without any strings attached it's kind of cool it really is cool so if you don't have a group like this first of all i recommend that if you're living in a major city um find a group like this in your town that you can you can help them if not call janet and she can help you set it up in your town or you can join her group and uh, that would be that would be great fun. Thanks. And, you know, you said um, elevate. And that is something that we really focus on. We want to give people a hand up. You know, it's not a handout. It's a hand up. Come on. We can we can we can lift you together. Well, and when you're when you're buying a walk in freezer for somebody or a refrigerator, um, they're going to put food in that. And right. then they're going to distribute that food to the people who need it and and stuff so that you know everything that you do and and is a hundred percent goes to the charities so that's 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 really cool um you know i i would love to have you back again well see one of the things that i've been wanting to do on this show is to do a segment that i did way back in 2003 it was called angels among us oh. and it was uh i would i would bring on an interview charities that were doing great work um in and around the our our community or around the world to and so angels among us is something i'd like to resurrect so um i would love to be able to work with you to uh to find some charities that are doing some real good work like the ones who wins on monday i'll tell you what um, you've got, you've got some of these cards that, that we had printed for you and they're going to be, you're going to hand them out. Um, tell, um, the winner that we will book them on the show for them to do a podcast and a radio show. I'll put them on KKNW. Thank you. Right? And Thank we will, and we'll support, we'll support that work. And that hopefully will, will help you, uh, drive up maybe uh, some more people that want to give. I, I thank you, Kevin. That is great. And we do have your cards and we were going to put them out on the tables, but now I can really talk to it. And I'm the MC. I'm kind of the communicator for the group. So I will uh, tell them about my experience today with you. And um, I'm, I'm really honored and touched that we've been able to do this. I'm, we're, I, I'm glad. And I would like to thank Holly Berry for, for um, contributing to this and, and to make it happen. Cause I had no idea that this actually even existed. And Holly Berry gives us flowers, beautiful flowers to give to our presenters for the nonprofits, which is lovely. And her, her company is a natural design. Look that up. It's a natural design. She is, it really is talented at what she does. Oh, absolutely. We, we feel so blessed to know her too. So, and that's a connection that we've made through a hundred women. So. And it just, it will just continue. Right. Um, and it will, it will cease to be a hundred women. It will be, uh, it'll be a thousand women. Wouldn't that be great? You know, if people say, you know, have you reached your hundred? It's like, oh yeah. Do you have room for more? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because now the cool thing is now that you can do everything remotely, right. um, you can, you can put together a zoom meeting that can have, you know, a hundred people on the zoom. You can have a hundred people in the room. Um, 
you need some audio visual stuff and and but and i would hate for that to come out of your own pocket because everything else comes out of your own pocket you you know that's something our av the hotel is not providing av equipment uh it would be a couple hundred bucks and i just sent a note out to the membership and one of our members said i got you covered you know so (laughs) so they're bringing av stuff in um so which is really great because we're really committed not to I mean, not to ask for more money, you know, people want to give though. And she said, I got you covered. I got you. I have AV equipment. So cool. It takes a village. If we can all work together for the betterment of everyone. And I mean, everyone without, without, uh, um, without regard to race, without regard to who you love and just people in need, people that, that, and, and God help us. There are kids that are going that are going, leaving school, I want you to think about this, ladies and gentlemen, there are kids in the United States that are leaving school at three o'clock on Friday and have no food until they go back to school and have breakfast Monday morning. That is a crime. And that's, we need to get together to stop that. And I don't care what your politics are or you, or your any, any, anything else, we need to get together and, and figure out how to stop that. And so, and you're doing your part. Uh, Kevin, can I just add, um, we, you know, I told, I told you about a couple of our organizations that deal with kids. I just want to real quick, just tell you the other types of uh, nonprofits we've worked with food bank. I told you about the freezer homage senior center. They did, um, they did home repairs for elderly female head of households. They went to do home repair. So that money went to them. We did mercy watch. They do a medical care for homeless on the streets. We were able to help them with their van. Dawson place, um, teenage advocacy, uh, YWCA pathways for women, domestic violence, um, hero house, uh, Everett clubhouse, which is uh, really a social club with, for folks with mental health issues. And then I told you about hand in hand and food for thought. So we're covering a, a good amount of needs in our area and we're giving them a hand up. You know, I, and, uh, I live in a 55 plus community uh-huh. and, um, there are lots of people here who, you know, they moved in years ago and their husband has since passed away. And it's an elderly woman living alone or had to perhaps take in a roommate or something. And they live day to day and they live very on very little. And it would be, you know, that is a segment of our population that, and it's going to get, it's going to get worse as, as time goes on, as people retire yeah. and uh, they don't, they're not going to have enough money to retire well. Mm-hmm. And, and so, and we really need to look at our senior citizens as, as a resource and a, a real important part of our community. And, yeah. and I, I think that those, the, what, what, you know, working with the senior centers and the, and things that's, that's a wonderful thing. Yeah. It feels good. It feels really good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you must be just like walking on cloud nine every day. It does make me so happy. And, you know, that's what I said. It just, I really feel like I'm retired. Um, I've been retired for a long time now and I've always wanted to be able to do this and I have the time and I always say I'm not rich, but I have enough money to do this kind of stuff. So I can, I have the time, I have the desire, I have you know, I have my hundred bucks three times a year, you know, I mean, it's, <laughs> and I can buy, um, you know, name tags and uh, it's all good. Yeah. And sit there and fill out 140 name tags. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, it's, it's, it's it, I got to tell you, Janet, it, it's a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting um, you. I feel so honored and I'm really happy to know about this, that you're doing the spreading these positive messages. I love that. Love it. We don't talk about uh, religion. We don't talk about politics. We talk about uh, people that are helping people to live life a little bit better. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. Really. Well, thank you for what you, it's a mutual admiration society. Thank you for what, (laughs) for what you do as well. And I would love to, you know, I'll talk to Holly about it because, uh, and, uh, but uh, I've always wanted to do a segment or a show about the angels among us because they're the people that are working every day and they don't get any or nearly enough recognition for the, the work that they do. Like you, you're, you're working, you're putting in hours upon hours to make this happen. And I know it's a thing of love. Yeah. So be- I mean, I, I love it. I mean, I get out of it. I get good out of it too. Um, of course. 
which is really great, really, really great. And I, it, it makes me happy. And we're making a difference. I mean, it's not fluffy. We're making a difference. So. You're making a serious difference. Yeah. You know, a hundred, a hundred plus thousand dollars for a little group of started out with less than a hundred women and, yeah. and stuff that, that, that's phenomenal. Yeah. So go to their website, which is www.100womensnohomish.com. I'll spell Snohomish for you. I thought about that. Yeah. If you're not from around here, that's an Indian name, by the way. S N O H O M I C S S H. Jeez. S H. So it's Snohomish. And uh, they're right up north of Seattle. They're. Uh, uh, the uh, county adjacent to King County, which is where Seattle is, and uh, they—they're you're working to do some remarkable things. And I would like to thank you. And by the way, before we go, I always like to do this. I want—I'm going to step aside and let you have a moment to tell our audience, the ones that are listening now or the ones that will listen in the future, anything you'd like them to know. Okay. Um, I think what I'd like everyone to know is that we can help people. We can use our resources and help people make a difference. And it doesn't have to be huge. It just any effort, um, anything we can do, it, it, it serves our souls too. So thank you. And uh, we've been talking with Janet Bacon. She is, are you the chairperson? Uh, there are two co-founders. Um, so uh, yes, I mean, I, I am, I'm, I'm the, like, I'm the MC. I'm uh, yeah. So, but there, there are six of us on the core team and all of us do really contribute. You know, we have a treasurer, we have a nonprofit specialist, we have um, an IT person. Uh, we, so we have six, six women that work to put this thing together. So yeah, I'm a co-founder, but I'm a group uh, from a group of five others. Awesome. Awesome. And, uh, and so you can, I know we're not going to put your number out here, but, uh, okay. <laughs> you, you can, you, you might get some rather interesting calls, yeah. uh, but, but, uh, go to 100 women's snohomish.com and you can get, uh, information about how to contact them. Uh, there's some videos and the events, which happen three times a year. I now know. And, uh, that, which is, which is great. And you can join. So Monday, Monday, May 2nd, 630 Indigo Hotel. Be there. So be there. <laughs> again, Janet, thank you so much. And make sure you tell the uh the the winner and and also the uh we'll make it we'll make it a trifecta for the, the three people that you pick. Uh they have they have a uh, um you can add they get a podcast and uh um and we'll work on the radio show uh to, to put them there. So, love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll, we'll call that Angels Among Us, which is really cool. I like so, it. I like I wanna, it. Thank you again so much. And if you wait right there, I'm going to do this and then I'll be right back. I'll wait right here. Thanks for enjoying this episode all the way to the end. Please give us a like and subscribe to this channel. This has been a production of KMmedia.pro. Please visit our website, oddly enough, named kmmedia.pro for more details about us and our mission, which is to provide great, positive programming designed to inspire us all. I'm Kevin McDonald, and I'm proud of these shows, and I truly hope that you'll like them and share them with friends and family. So on behalf of our entire team, remember, be kind to each other, because each other's all we've got. We'll see you next time.